Well, hello there. It's uh, March 27, 2019, and what are we going to do today? We're going to be replacing a seat valve and a pin in the carburetor back here. Uh, about two months ago, came out in the garage and smelled like gasoline and uh, got the gas hose up there. And my carburetor filled with gasoline and was leaking all over the floor here. It's since been dried up and cleaned up, but uh, I'm doing some research. It looks like I uh, need to replace that uh, seat valve and the pin that goes in there, all inside the carburetor. So, i got to take this top off here, get to the carburetor back here, disconnect that, take the carburetor apart, take that bowl off of there, and uh, get in there and replace those parts. So, sure enough, another symptom to this problem is that uh, the oil will appear much higher than it's supposed to be but that's because crankcase is filled up with gasoline and sure enough when i sniff it it smells like gasoline so i'm going to need to replace the uh, fuel filter and uh, i'll have to drain the oil i think the plug is down here after i get this carburetor fixed so more fun ahead all right so i'm going to take the the top off the engine here I've got a socket I'm gonna take the backs off here and I got a little T tool to take these little doodads off and uh, we'll take it from there Pop this off. Oh, not bad, huh? You can see our filthy, dirty carburetor. I'm going to take these nuts off here and uh, loosen the linkages. Maybe take some pictures of these linkages before I actually remove them. So. I have a record of what that looks like. Might want to stuff some paper in there, make sure I don't get any anything bad in there. I uh, see I've got some nasty stuff already in my carburetor intake. Carburetor is pretty dirty. Looks like a 3 8 is going to fit right here the best. So I'm going to put that on there. I've taken pictures of my linkages up here. Plug is undone on the solenoid. So let's see if we can loosen this connection here. Very easy to do. Very easy. Let's do this. Nothing to it. There we go. Everything has come away. Looks like I've got, got some dirt in there. That could be what's causing my problem with the, the pins and the seat. Let's see if we can get this linkage off of here. Looks like a spring. Goes there. Careful, careful. Mm -hmm. mm. This one's in here firm. It's out. And that has come off of there. Alright, so first thing is take this solenoid off the bottom here. And uh, we'll put this in a vise with some protection, some rags, so I don't wreck anything on there. And uh, see if we get in there to the float valve, the seat, and the needle valve. So I've got the uh, carburetor in a vise here. I uh, use this quarter inch crescent. I was able to get a little bit under there actually. A lot of videos say that you should file this down, but I was able to get in there and loosen this. Looks like I can just slowly take this off. Look at that. Looks like it works properly. Set that aside. And then we'll see if we can get this bowl off of here. Hmm. All right. 
Looks like there's a little bit of corrosion around there that I can clean up. Uh, this might be a little corroded. We'll take a closer look at that. I've got a replacement if I need it. And there's my float. My float. So it looks like it's pretty level. We'll take this pin out here. All right, so I got a little nail. I'm just gonna get in here. Give this a little nudge. There's that little pin sticking out. Slowly pull that out. Tiny, tiny. Don't lose that. Take our bowl out. There she is. Can you see it? Not really. There you go. And there's my seat down there. Hmm. Looks a little different than what I got. Make sure I've got everything I need before I start ripping it out. That's what I've got. Looks like this is the piece I replaced down here. And then uh, this one here. That pin should be fairly easy to replace. It just slides out. So I brought everything inside so I could lay it out in a cleaner environment. So here's the bowl, the ring that goes around the bowl, uh, the solenoid, the float, and that's the valve float needle. And so I've got the parts down here, and the seal inlet is part 690577, and that looks like that. And then the um, valve float needle is part... 231855S and it looks like that and appears to match that so far so good and then I've got uh, the gasket float bowl and that's part 281165S and it's inside there and you can see it there so I'll probably be replacing these parts here since I've got everything apart and then it looked like the, that carburetor is pretty dirty. I need to clean the inside and out thoroughly. And uh, But anyway, I'm going to lay these parts out and make sure they're good. And then I'm going to have to get the old seat inlet out and uh, get the new one in. From what I understand, I need to use a screw. I'll put like a wood screw in there or a deck screw. And then pry it out and use the top part as a fulcrum. Protect that with the... A small bolt that'll sit up on top of there there's other ways to do it but it seemed like the easiest given the tools I don't have all right so one of the videos I saw said that you should take this little doodad out here and pretty snug I don't want to strip it or cause any problems for it and I don't want to lose it. It's a little tiny valve. Appears to be pretty clean. Let's put that right there. And then another video says to get you gotta get this inlet out. So one had suggested using a wood screw and driving that part way in there. And the idea is that this is a softer metal and it should take the screw if I can put it in straight. A couple turns. And then uh, what I need to do is put a little protection over this here. Yep. And uh, if I can pry that up. Okay, I've got a needle nose here, and uh, and it's out. It was easier than I thought it would be. Anywhere that's the in inlet, and uh, we'll remove that. We'll clean this out real nice and then uh, tap the new one back in there 
verify it. the new one is the same size but good so far so while I've got this here I'm going to put this little valve back here on the side hopefully I don't lose it I can't lose it otherwise I'll be in trouble 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 here she goes going right in there make sure the screwdriver is lined up just right and it's in there nice a lot of dirt and stuff we'll get some gum out in there and clean that up real nice maybe even use my compressed air to clean out some of these areas before I reassemble I'm ready to put this uh, little seat in here it's gonna go in this little hole here and so it was suggested that I make a little tool that will fit in here when I set that on top, and I'll tap on the top here with a hammer and push it into this hole here until I feel it tighten up. So, first of all, let's do a, a fit. It slides in there nicely. I get one of my kids' uh, toy hammers here. We'll set this here on top and we'll just do some tapping and it's supposed to go down a little ways and then stop and I'll give it a little more oh there it sounds like it changed tone definitely different tone and I think we have seated it everything in this inside looks good so I have now replaced this one with this one and uh, we'll begin the reassembly of the carburetor easy schmeasy all right so we get the carb cleaned up a little bit out in the garage get all the dust and dirt out of there so what I'm going to do now is reassemble the bowl here so I've got to get this little valve float needle out again this was part 231855S and I'll compare it to the other and uh, they are an exact match and so what I'll do is I'll put it on the float. Slides in there just like that. And then I will turn this over. And drop it in there. Bingo. And then we'll find this little pin. My fingers are not able to pick that up so easily. And we'll adjust this so the pin goes through the float and bingo it moves up and down freely I've got a new gasket replaces this old kind of crummy one I'll bet that was leaking it's hard and crusty this one's nice and flexible uh, it's going to be a little bit of a snug fit but I think we can get it on there. Make sure I haven't rolled it. Alright. Looking good, looking good. And I have cleaned all this out. Take one more look here. Do a fitment test. It seems to fit. Get our solenoid. And... Uh, what I'm going to do is get a little bit of oil and put that on there. I've got some oil. Don't need a whole lot. Just need some small droplets. I'm going to put it here. Can you see that? <laughs> I've got more than enough now. Holy moly. All I want to do is put a little around here, wipe that up, didn't 
get any on the table. We'll put some around here where my gasket is. Help it seal, maybe preserve it. Let's take it off here. Give it a little bit of oil. Alright, so I got some oil around there. I got oil everywhere actually. And we'll put the gasket back on. Da, da, da. Trying not to roll it. Yep. Got a little oil there. Everything looks good. Put that on here. And put the solenoid on. She is on tight. Got a good seal around the bottom. I'll wipe out the excess oil here and uh, let's prepare to do the install. Alright, I haven't put the uh, carburetor back on yet because it's going to go in here and I want to get this uh, oil filter off of here. And I know I need to change the uh, oil because it's got gasoline in it. So I've emptied it and it's coming out like water and you can see gasoline in the oil. And uh, got to get that all drained off. Once I get that drained off then I'll be able to change the oil filter over here. And then uh, put all the linkages on the carburetor over here and get everything in the place. Uh, for now, removing the gas oil in the crankcase. So, success, I got the oil filter off. This is the new one. I'm gonna clean up this little bit of a mess here. Got most of that mess out of there. I'm gonna put this puppy on here before it gets dirty. Nice fit. All right, I'm gonna clean this up a little more. Uh, take the tube off of oil clean out and uh, we'll seal everything up and then see if we can get this carburetor back on here test for any leaks okay so also while I'm in here I'm going to take the opportunity to replace this uh, fuel filter all right let's keep that upright We'll take this little clip off of here. Slide it down. Remove. And voila, it's off. Now we'll put this up here. I want to make sure the fuel doesn't spill while I'm working on the rest of it. So next part, let's get the carburetor in here. Everything's been lubed up pretty good. All right, this is gonna go on here like this. Linkages will go here and here. So let's start with this one, which goes in here. This tube back in here, it's intake, and then I need to attach this small spring. I see it, very difficult for my eyes, but I see it. And then I need to attach the plug for the solenoid. There it is, it's on. All right, all the linkages are in place. Okay, now let's get this started. Get 
looking good. I guess I should <coughs> maybe consider not having this completely tightened. As per another video I saw where the guy left this open so that if it leaked, it did not fill his crankcase, and he did not have to change his oil again. So we're going to leave this a little ajar. And then, da da da, we're going to put the fuel line back on here. A little bit of a leak. Because I don't have a fuel shut off. I'll loosen this puppy up. And then uh, we'll look for leaks overnight. on there what we will do is fill the oil up make sure that that holds properly and then what I'll do is clean this out really nice and then tonight we'll see if we get any leaks coming out of the carburetor so it doesn't get into the crankcase I'm gonna sign off for here put some oil in here make sure it's the right depth and then uh, clean up around here and then put some dry towels down there and see if I get any kind of seepage and give my my replacement valves and seats and inlets a good test so i got impatient not really i let this sit for about 20 minutes and i didn't see any leaks and i know by now with uh, the previous valves it was leaking so i'm going to move forward with uh reassembling see if we can uh get this assembled before i need to run an errand here today All right, all right, let's put our air filters on. We are all set. I'm tempted to try it. Let's try it. Everything's in place. <laughs> Intended to be a how-to video, but maybe a how-not-to. And uh, hope you enjoyed watching this little bit of maintenance on my carburetor on my Toro 465cc Intec Briggs and Stratton. Okay, so quick assessment of what I did here. I've got it all back together. Got the bagger on. Got the lid on here. And what I did is I uh, took the carburetor off and I replaced the different parts in there and uh, everything went back together pretty well. Uh, a little tricky but while I was there I also changed the oil, changed the oil filter, changed the, the fuel filter and then I also changed the spark plug just a little while ago. It was down here. A little tough to get to put everything back together. Um, got a high-end spark plug in there. Let's start it up and see what it, what it sounds like. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh. 